In today's video, we take a look at the Topo Designs Global Briefcase, a bag that can be used as a little travel companion and also works really well as a weekend commuter. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Fast and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear, better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and also subscribing to our newsletter. Let's dive in and check out the Topo Designs Global Briefcase. Topo Designs is a company that makes apparel, outerwear, and carry goods. They have a heritage aesthetic to them, and they also have mountain-ready materials. If you're interested in checking out our videos on Topo Designs, head over to our channel, click the Topo Designs playlist, or you can just click the link above right now. Just before we get into the bag, as we continue to grow and focus in on other categories like the home office, as well as performance apparel, and also carry goods, we'd love to hear what kind of brands you'd like to see us cover on the channel. So let us know in the comments below. Now the Topo Designs Global Brief briefcase is made of a 420 denier nylon pack cloth so that is this front material here in blue and then in high abrasion areas namely at the bottom of the bag as well as the back of the bag we have a 1000 denier nylon inside the bag we have a 210 denier nylon pack cloth liner so all really durable fabrics in the bag on top of this we've got chunky ykk zippers as well as wujin hardware and also some metal hardware in terms of branding from topo we just have this one black on white brand patch here at the front. There's no other branding on the bag. The aesthetic of the bag kind of speaks to Topo's brand itself. At the bottom of the bag here, we have some accessory straps that you can lash on any gear underneath the bag, at the base of the bag. So say maybe you've got a tripod, if you're using this bag for camera carry, or if you've just got a jacket, you can slot that up under there. So if I just put my jacket in there, this is the proof graphene down jacket, really comfortable, really lightweight and padded jacket store that underneath there and I can cinch it down and there I have my jacket underneath the bag nicely affixed it's secured there it's not going to go anywhere and when I need it when it gets a bit nippy I can just take this out and put it on we turn to the sides of the bag you'll notice these two little accessory loops here you can attach on any carabiners any multi tools or anything like that that you just want quick access to here I just have the James brand holocomb carabiner just clip that on there. Maybe I'll add some accessories on that later on. You'll also notice on the side of the bag, this little loop here, which allows us to attach on our carry strap. So this is a little metal clip. It's got a nice brushed metal finish to it. Clip that off there. So it is a detachable carry strap. Now, if we look to the carry strap itself, we have this soft nylon webbing. And then in the middle here, it's actually padded. So there will be some comfort on the shoulder strap when you're carrying it. And then you've got two plastic fasteners on either side so you can adjust the shoulder strap. And then on the ends to attach the clips on, we have some heavy duty hypalon as well as some bar tack stitching. So that is the shoulder strap. And as you can see, it is detachable. So you can just simply take this off and carry the bag in briefcase mode. There is this nice carry handle at the top here. It's nice and padded But even though the bag is labeled as a briefcase and can be used as a little messenger bag We've also got stowed backpack straps here behind this little slip pocket So if we just take those out, we can actually carry this bag in backpack style carry So at the ends of these straps, we have simple gatekeeper clips from Duraflex and they loop into these holes there Feed them through the loop clip them on there we have a backpack style carry ready to go. These backpack straps are straight cut. They have some nice padding underneath. You can see air mesh wicking there. So it is breathable and it will be comfortable. And there's this nice soft piping along the edges of the shoulder strap just to give a better comfort and reduce the chance of the shoulder straps digging into your shoulders if you're carrying heavy loads. As is with most of Topo's shoulder straps, they have daisy chain webbing so you can attach any accessories on. And then we've also got these Wujin D-rings here that you can further add accessories on. These D-rings are particularly useful for attaching on a pair of sunglasses. So these are my Sunski polarized sunglasses and you can feed through one of the arms of the sunglasses through that D-ring and just have it for quick access when you're on the go. At the top of the bag when you're carrying in backpack mode we have a little hall handle strap here that you can lug the bag around. One thing to also notice about the bag is that there is this luggage pass through here. So this bag is called the Global Briefcase and it is suited as a little travel companion. So if you are taking this bag along with a rolling luggage you can feed through the rolling luggage handle through there and streamline your carry. 
This luggage pass-through is separate to the little slip pocket to stow away the backpack strap so it won't get tangled up with your luggage handle when you pass that through. That's really smart. One thing to note about the back panel underneath the luggage pass-through as well as the slip sleeve, there is some padding on the back which is part of the laptop compartment's padding and that also adds to overall comfort when you're carrying it in backpack style. One small thing to note about the bag is that on the sides of the bag here or perhaps the top and the bottom of the bag if you're carrying it in backpack style carry is these accessory loops. These accessory loops are Topo Design's pack fast travel bag attachment loops. So if you are taking this bag along with Topo Design's travel bag, there are actually some clips on the travel bag that you can use to attach this bag onto the travel bag. So a small little feature there, it's part of Topo Design's travel ecosystem. If you do travel with Topo Design's travel bag, you can attach this bag on there. Before we get into the compartments of the bag, the watch from today's video is the Cahill timepiece from Spinnaker. This is a diver aesthetic watch. It's beautifully made and has an automatic movement. If you want to check out Spinnaker, link is in the description below. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the compartments of the bag. It is a 14 litre bag, so we've got plenty of space for just simple everyday essentials. At the front here, we've got two of these pockets to store smaller items and they open up outwards in this sort of inverted L shape so you can pull this flap back and see what's inside. Here I have my face mask, my Oz Air face mask. I've also got a Field Notes notebook as well as a little pen from the people over at Refine. This is a really cool pen here actually. Check it out, links in the description below. I've also got my Bello travel follower here for my passport and any other travel documents in there. And that's inside this segmentation here, this little mesh divider. On the other side, pretty much the same sort of organization here. I've got the Bellroy flip case as a small everyday wallet. And then here, I've also got the Redmi earbuds too. Inside this little mesh pocket, I've got more smaller bits and pieces. I've just got a charging cable from Nimble. And then over here, I've got the Anker Nano Pro. This is a 20 watt USB-C wall charger that will charge an iPhone 12 from 0 to 50 in about 26 minutes. So really high quality charger and a super small one, perfect for travelers. If you're interested, check out that in the description below. We've also got hand sanitizer and then we'll notice here there's a little key leash that you can attach your keys to. So I've just got my Orbit key attached to that. So those are the two small little compartments to organize your smaller bits and pieces. If we move to the top here, we've also got two zippered compartments. One's our main compartment, the other one is our laptop compartment. We just open up this one here. I've just got a Topa Designs field shirt as well as a Stanley travel tumbler. Here is a Matador travel canister just for some snacks or medication. I've got some Bayer Dynamic Lagoon ANC headphones, really good travel headphones. And then if I'm going sightseeing or maybe on a ferry at the zoo, here are a pair of Knox Provisions binoculars. So big cavity space for the main compartment and you can see that bright yellow 210 denier nylon pack cloth. It makes it really easy to spot any smaller items that you might have just lost inside this area. So really good visibility there. At the back of the bag, we have our laptop compartment here. Again, uses two chunky YKK zippers. Inside that main little slip area, I've got an A5 workbook from Ugmunk. And then we have our laptop sleeve, which is secured down by this little Velcro closure. This laptop sleeve is padded and it is slightly suspended from the base of the bag and will fit up to most 15 inch laptops, if not some 16 inch laptops as well. In here, I've just got the 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina with a Rush Faster laptop sleeve. If you're not aware, here at Rush Faster, we've designed our own laptop sleeve, the Rush Faster laptop sleeve. It's now available for overseas shipping at rushfaster.co. So you can check that out. Link is in the description below. But we've also done a video walkthrough on this product as well. So you can check that out. Link will be above on the screen. So these are all the compartments of the bag. We've got our laptop compartment as well as a document pocket and then our main compartment here with a big cavernous space and then two smaller compartments at the front for your smaller bits and pieces. Plenty of organization and space if you're using this as a travel companion for small city travel as well as weekend commuting. So here are some of the ways you can carry the bag. This is on the shoulder carry. For your reference, I'm 5'10". And this is crossbody carry. And then of course, backpack style carry.
Well, everyone, that is the Topo Designs Global Briefcase. It's made of durable materials. Its organization is simple and easy to use and also offers flexibility in giving you multiple carry options. If you're interested in getting this bag or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below. If you choose to use any of those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do on the channel, so we appreciate any support. And if you'd like to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to our newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this bag? Would you use it when you go traveling or for weekend commuting? And let us know what brands you'd like to see us cover next on the channel. As always, if you want to see more videos from us, there are some links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Topo Designs Global Briefcase. Take care, and we'll see you next time.